I am here with Pink Sweats, future superstar, and this month's Apple Music Up Next artist. You're called Pink Sweats for obvious reasons, and yet the music itself is super reduced. Yeah. And super low key right now. I think that's really captured people's attention because it's really put your performance and your vocal and your songwriting on blast. Like it's put it front and center. Was that the reasoning behind it? Yeah. Essentially, that's what it was. Once, once I made a decision, I had to take a big look at the kind of music I had been working on. Man, this is like all I've been working on. And it's like, why is there no one doing this kind of music or like trying this? I think people where I'm from deserve that kind of music. It wasn't always the way for you. You weren't always going to be sitting here in front of me. You you were going to provide opportunity for other people to do that. And you were going to be someone who sat in the studio and kind of immersed yourself in the craft rather than get in front of it. And eat tons of pizza. Eat tons of pizza. It's and not a bad life. It's not a bad life. <laughs> so what was the turning point for you? Why did you become an artist? If it wasn't always your dream to be an artist. Man, I became an artist because one, I got sick and like, it wasn't anything that I caused or anything. It just happened. And it was like... What was it? It's a rare disease called aclasia. Mm. that actually usually only affects older people. It affects your dietary system, right? Yeah, it affects your esophagus, which has nothing to do with your vocals. So mm. it's like, it would affect my motility of like pushing food down. Right, right, right. Screwed me up so bad because like I was just like, man, is this the end? Because like, if you think about like... Drinking water, like I would be afraid to drink water. Yeah, it, it affects would, your reality and how yeah. you actually approach <clears throat> things that we all take for granted. It started off progressive where it would just be like random moments and I'd be like, oh, that was weird. But then it got really intense. Oh, Anytime I took a sip, I'm just like, yo, this, I can, my body can't handle this anymore. Eventually, I won't be here. And I was just like, man, this is sad. But I, I kind of just kept working because I enjoyed music so much. I didn't want to go out like on a, down note. I'm just mm. like, nobody knew. Like, my mom, I end up telling her, like, very close to before I got surgery. Wow, so you kept this information <clears throat> pretty much entirely private the, the whole time. Yeah, and then, like, literally over three weeks, I had lost, like, 40 pounds. Just mm. Mm. felt, like, so frail and, like, Weak. my eyes. I was just like, man. So that happened. I ended up getting surgery. I just don't deal with that anymore. Those Great. symptoms, so praise to God. Yeah, like, blessings. And then when I got out the hospital bed, I just felt like a new person. And like mm -hmm. everything that, I, my reasoning for not wanting to be an artist was, I just didn't, it was selfish. It was like, man, I don't want to have to deal with people or I don't want to, I don't want to. It's like, it was selfish. But people had always told me like, bro, because I would demo my songs when I write, bro, you should be an artist. Mm -hmm. And then like, for whatever reason, it was just, my mind was renewed and refreshed. It was like, I hit a reset button. It was just <laughs> like, why am I not an artist? Like, what if that would have, what if my life would have ended? What would I have regret, left behind? Would yeah. I, and would I have regretted not doing that? Exactly. So then I came to my manager and my team and I literally was like, I want to do artist project. And they was just like, all right, bet, let's do it. Like, no objections. Nobody was like giving me any like fight back. They were just like, so what do you want to do? And I'm like, I want to do this. This is my vision. Boom. Got me the tracks that I needed. Developed them and I'm like, okay, I wanted to be broken down. Boom. Send it to my manager. He's like, this is fire. And then actually, he hated honesty. He was like, man, this, you know, you just say the same thing over and over on the hook, right? Yeah, it's called a hook. Yeah, look. And then the next day, he calls me. He's like, you motherfucker. <laughs> he's like, this song has been in my head all day. And yeah, that's because like, I planted that earworm, I was like, bro. That's how, that's what I do. <laughs> I was like, you're welcome. Think about a song like I know. We sort of know where you're at in your career right now. Do you? Because this song is actually kind of something different altogether again. You know, when it starts, it immediately gets your attention and then, and then you hold it and you own it. But in the, in the beginning, you're like, did I hit the right song? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You know, <laughs> it's funny you say that because that's genuinely why I did it. It's like, I want people to be like, wait, is this... This is on the wrong playlist, man. What is this? And then it comes on and you hear the voice and you're like, I wouldn't listen to this typically. Like people would be like, I don't really listen to music like that, but this joint is fire. Like fire. And I'm like, thank you. Like mm. I'm trying to, I don't know. I'm just trying to expand people's palettes for black music. Like straight up. Like mm. that's as blunt as I could put it. It's just like, here we go. Like, let's hop on this this train that's, like, it's never going to end. And, like, I'm never going to do honesty again. 
which is like me as a creative, I could do that all day. Like, but that's when it becomes machine. It's like I want to do the same kind of concept of like pushing a boundary. Yeah, it's more than just re- repeating notes and melody and vibe. It's actually repeating the sensation you got the first time you heard honesty, exactly. which was like, what is this? Yeah. And now you're getting it again and again and again. Yep. So that's that's what it is. And that song essentially was like, man, I love country music. Where are we at with volume two? Because volume one has opened the door. So where are we at with volume two? Volume two is done. Mix done. and mastered. Amazing. How many songs? It's five on this one. Okay. Yeah, five on this one. And they're all just like, wow. Like when you hear it, you're going to be like, how did he do this again? Like, Have you uh, kept it in a reduced env- environment? Kept the ingredients small but essential? I'll give it a little bit away. So for the youngsters and the older people, whatever. Listen to Bobby McFerrin. Ooh. And you'll you'll understand volume two a lot better. Wow, interesting. It's so, percussion, but it's not. I don't I didn't program any drums. So it's like. Sick. Help though, it feels good. Are you producing? Are you still working with other people, or is it all you right now? Honestly, this one, the funny thing is, I have one of my directors. He actually got a, a track on my volume mm. too. Mm. We were eating Chinese food, like so much Chinese food, and we were just like all stuffed. And he's just like leaning back, playing the guitar. I'm like, I'm using that. So you just pick him, hand pick him. You just feel it, take it I in. I feel it right then. Who would you work with if you could right now today? Number one pick. I feel like right now in this phase, I would probably do John Mayer. Hmm. He's just a beast guitar player. Obviously a great songwriter, but for me, what I, what I desire is just a feeling. And so it's hard. It's like a lot of people can play instruments, but it's like a certain feel yeah. that you just like, man, like he's playing the same beat, but like when he plays it. Yeah, it's unique. It's like, ah, you just feel it. But um, yeah, I would want to work with John Mayer. This has been fun. This is the first of many, I hope, man. Thank you for your time. Great to see you, brother. Appreciate you, man. Hey, what's up? It's Pink Sweats. Thanks for watching. You can stream my up next film now on Apple Music.